Medical breakthroughs take time, and this area of precision medicine will be no different. But the patients with us this morning are living proof that the dawn of a new era has arrived. If we start today and seize this moment and the focus and the energy and the resources that it demands, there is no telling how many lives we could change. And every single one of those lives matter. Bill Elder was one of Michelle's guests at uh, the State of the Union last week. Where's Bill? Here he is. Stand up, Bill. So, Bill's a good-looking young guy. Uh, and about 20 years ago, Bill was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. But it turns out Bill is one of 4% of cystic fibrosis patients whose disease is caused by a particular mutation in one gene. And a few years ago, the FDA fast-tracked a new drug target specifically targeting that mutation. And one night in 2012, Bill tried it for the first time. And just a few hours later, he woke up knowing something was different. And finally, he realized what it was. He had never been able to breathe out of his nose before. Think about that. So Bill's now 27. When he was born, 27 was the median age of survival for a cystic fibrosis patient. Today, Bill is in his third year of medical school. And for the first time in my life, Bill said, For the first time in his life, he says, I truly believe I will live long enough to be a grandfather. One day, Bill will be able to tell his grandchildren about how he used the miracle of his own life to not only serve as an example, but also an inspiration and ultimately a pathway for his own career to help save the lives of other people. And that's the spirit of hope and resilience and community that's always carried America forward. We may disagree sometimes, especially here in Washington, but we do share a common vision for our future. We want an economy powered by the world's best innovations the best ideas. We want a country that extends its promise of opportunity to everybody who's willing to work for it. We want to have a nation in which the accidents and circumstances of our birth aren't determining our fate. And if we're born with a particular disease or a particular uh, a genetic makeup, that makes us more vulnerable to something, uh, that that's not our, our destiny, that's not our fate, that we can remake it. That's who we are as Americans. And that's the power of scientific discovery. And we want Bill's generation and the generations that come after to inherit that most extraordinary gift that anybody can imagine, and that is not just a chance to live a long and happy and healthy life, in this greatest country on earth, but also the chance to remake that world continuously um, in ways that uh, provide great promise for future generations. So I'm very excited about this. I hope you are too. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless the United States. Let's get to work.